Okay. Um, I'm excited. <laughs> who's heard of Hubert Bell? Yep. GPT four eighty percent. Presentation. Lama two uh, fine tunes catching up or reading them. Uh, who thought that humans had something to do with human eval benchmarking at first? Maybe? Okay, we'll get to that. Um, so the, the first thing is that um, you probably want to get familiar with this if you are doing CodeGen, but unfortunately the repo just throws you one big uh, tar file. Um, so the first thing I did was just put this up so that you can actually just look at what's in there, because um, uh, it looks pretty interesting at first. Um, but uh, you kind of look at some of the examples, uh, which you know still probably are valid, but um, they're a little um, esoteric, I guess, in their application to real coding. Um, so that's the first part. Um, I think everyone should should go and, and try to check check these out to see what we're climbing towards. Is this AGI or not? Probably not. <laughs> um, and then the second thing is that actually uh, after this, I was like, what can we do with this? So I started a game. So who wants to play against GPT-4 yeah. in coding? Who <laughs> <laughs> volunteers? Um, I'll do it. OK, come on. <laughs> oh, no. I love hearing you all. All right. That's oh, OK, well, well yeah, you can That's have a head start. That's OK. <laughs> all right, so um, do, you, do you have a, a, a task that you prefer? Um, I know the ones, like, First twenty tend to be easier. So okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, I can pick any. Okay, one. Okay. Uh, check. It, check. <laughs> this is another job interview. Uh, check. <laughs> Are any two numbers closer to each other than given threshold? Okay. Um, so GPT has already passed, um, and that was like, uh, that's like a uh, but uh, we'll let the human keep going. Okay. Um, oh, okay, for sure. So now we're doing Python. So I can just say um, pass. pass. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so it passes in a list of numbers and then a threshold. Oh, okay, for sure. So I'm just gonna do like the the most computationally expensive way to do it, which is just wow. four. Wow. Um, Look at that. Uh, oh. <laughs> 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 uh, if I check this, you want to go? Oh, sorry. It it it, uh, it executes on save, so I should have mentioned that at the beginning. Okay. Your solution um, failed. Yeah. So uh, GPT one in this one. Um, you want to have another go? I mean, Ano oh another problem. This one is easier one. So. Some, I mean, someone else could try it. <laughs> um, it it's on GitHub if you want to try it. Basically, um, it'd be super interesting if we got people together and actually had a human benchmark for this, because I, I don't see it anywhere. I'm guessing we would all hit probably like 40% at best. Um, and that's including the use of backspace, uh, which GPT doesn't get to do. Um, it's also going to be difficult to do with all the autocompletes already out there, so you kind of have to like isolate the environment. Sure. Uh, so. You're telling me our eval benchmark is totally generated by models? Sorry? The human eval benchmark is totally generated. No, no, it, it, it's curated by humans. That's that's the human it's part. Okay. But but we don't we don't have like a, a human level, right? We we, we don't know at, at what percentage oh, humans actually perform it. I see it. Yeah. So that that was the idea. Cool. Have you considered a uh, a white paper analyzing the the unpacked repo? We'll, we'll spin it up now. You think we should use code based the paper to <laughs> generate a research paper on? <laughs> we'll, we'll use Jeremy's thing. Yeah. Well, it's really it's your thing. <laughs> um, yeah, this reminds me of the um, game for labeling image data that Google had uh, put out where you would compete. I don't know if any of you played this back in like the 2000s. You'd compete against someone else to come up with the right label for images um, that were ambiguous. And um, yeah, we, they, I think Google created a massive capture data set that way. Um, so it seems like it could be actually like fun, like market it to college kids doing like internship applications or whatever. And, um, sure, we can get free data. Yeah, free data, exactly. So uh, I guess 
actually evaluating uh, human ability to code, it sort of seems to me like um, like an intelligent human like would lose G to GPT-4 on these simple tasks, but they beat GPT-4 on like super complicated tasks that require like thousands of lines of code. Um, and even even like even foregoing the whole context uh, limit constraint, there's still situations where like, you have a high degree of cognitive load, and no matter what what prompt engineering you do to GPT-4, it's going to fail to to do those kinds of tasks. So, like, either did, while you were building the project, did you think about those more like serious kind of like evaluation difficulties um, when it comes to code generation? Um, evaluation uh, difficulties, as in like, is human development insufficient for real world use cases? Yeah, in the sense that like simple, like ironically, like. Or I guess not ironically, like, like GPT-4 beats out humans on simple things, but it loses out to humans on like really complicated things. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's why I'm trying to get people to look at it, because if yeah. we're climbing towards this, that's 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 not good. Yeah. Um, so I'd, I'd love to see examples like that, where you're doing like maybe mundane, but real world, real world tasks that are long and complex, uh, at least in scope, um, but like not algorithmically complex. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't know, I feel kind of, I don't want to just come up with like stupid and ask you the question too, but um, in the case of like how you've structured it here, right, where it's like GPT-4 is now like the like, quote unquote, like round truth, um, and the human, it's like seeing if the human can measure up against it, but then if you kind of like flip to like what the normal case is of like, the human's answering it, and then GBT4 matches the human, then it's good or not. Isn't it like a lot of just like kind of like inverting the metric at different points then? Or is, like, is there kind of like a secondary like benchmark for it? Kind of like compare which one is the real, real ground truth? Yeah, that's a good, good, good question. So it's just like humans used to be ground truth, right? Yeah. Um, but now we're inverting it so that like, GBT4 is, is closer to. Real. I, 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 I'm very jealous of people that work in Cogen. Uh, I'm, I'm doing evals for random like LM generations, if you want to talk about that. But for Cogen, there's, there's a real truth, right? Does it compile and does it uh, you know, uh, pass the test cases? So I, I think in that case, we can get away with a lot cooler things than just human ground truth right. and human education. So good, good, good for them. Give it up for human human.